barbershop conversation guys feel free hit the subscribe button so Deontay Wilder does a million views right but here's the catch Deontay you hurt your fucking views man if you would have made it to the four if you would have battered that nigga for four rounds you know I took it easy on him double jabbed him you know what I mean left hook him to the body made him weak I know you can't play boxing so you got that nigga out but them views would have been oh my god dumb because keep in mind, if he just would have knocked them down once or twice in the first round, niggas would have been tweeting, Instagramming, calling. Oh, man, it would have went insane. He would have got probably, in my greatest guesstimation, another 150,000 people just because people were coming in late. I'll be honest. I When I don't cover fights, I come in at exactly the time the fight starts typically. You know, and it's on, and I always have it. All my boxing is t vote do perpetuity you know what I mean and uh, I don't get home literally because I'm running the streets taking care of stuff and I get in the house just like y'all five or ten minutes right before the fight starts you know and uh, you plan your day around it you hustling home you you in the kitchen half of y'all niggas was in the kitchen I already know half y'all niggas was in the kitchen because you saw the ring entrance and he was like oh his outfit is cool I can hear the music I can hear Meek Mills playing let me run upstairs let me run outside you know because some of y'all y'all got to clean the car out you got to put the groceries in your kids got their soccer gear in the trunk you got to clean that shit out you got to clean the barbecue pit you got to move some shit around your garden in your backyard all that shit is happening on Saturday and especially on the west coast because it's 5 or 6 o'clock when Deontay walks out, or 8 o'clock, somewhere in there, right? So the sun is just now setting, right? And so I already know what we're going through. And then the nigga knocks him out in 2 minutes and 17 seconds. Although that's what we wanted, <laughs> we didn't really enjoy the fight. We got to celebrate the ending. We just didn't en enjoy the fight itself. So uh, Deontay, man, you hurt your ratings, man. Deontay, you knocked it. Let that nigga get to the second round next <laughs> That is the funniest shit ever, yo. Hey, Deontay, let that nigga get to the second round, dog, so niggas can tweet, Instagram you and say, hey, Deontay Wilder's fight, man. You know, because when the entrance, because I'm going to tell you this, when the ring entrance come, I'm willing to bet you there's 150,000 people on Instagram or Snapchat or on Facebook. They do those 15 second stories. People are Snapchatting the introduction to Deontay Wilder. And then that's going to remind people, oh, shit, Deontay Wilder's fighting, right? And guess what you're going to do? You're going to go. So I, so Deontay missed probably up to 200,000 people because it was a first-round knockout. I, I can damn near guarantee it. So congratulations. Um, Well-deserved. You put all the cards in your hand. You bet on yourself. You deserve it. You're a king. You're a lion. And... Uh, you know, uh, we celebrate you. So congratulations. It's 990,000, which is probably in, in real time, 1.2 probably. If you would have got to the third round, it probably would have went 1.1 and a half, 1.2 easy. You know, because people didn't even make it home yet, man. Anyway, I said what I said. Congratulations, Deontay Wilder. I truly believe with, with, the, uh, with the Zone app and everyone uh, not being able to watch the fight, uh, 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 not people not being able to watch the fight, uh, their uh, popularity is is probably plummeting in a negative fashion. Plummeting means it will drop in anyway. And uh, and Deontay Wilder is very accessible. Showtime did a genius move, which was making it free. Basically, obviously they make it free now to watch a knockout, so they can hit you with a pay per view later. Obviously, we know it's coming, but um, it was a it was a great game plan. I, I, I wonder was there any discussions to put that on CBS. My boy Aaron thought of that in the gym to put that on uh, uh, CBS, you know, to get maximum views the way they did uh, Keith Thurman and Danny Garcia two years ago. So anyways, man, barbershop, com com barbershop conversations. June 29th, I need y'all help. June 29th, I need y'all help. We're going to do our best to uh, put on an event in, in uh, Houston, Texas. June 29th, the morning of the fight, give away free haircuts, and uh, we're going to do a B.I.G. So anyone in Houston, anyone coming to the fight that want to help, you're more than welcome to. We truly appreciate you. We're going to thank you in advance, and we're
we're going to serve the community in Houston. So Barbershop Conversations, feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you know a bunch of kids in Houston, uh, send them my way because we're going to need some kids to come in and get free haircuts. I, I'm not connected with the Houston community, and we're going to do it B.I.G. So Barbershop Conversations, man, feel free to hit the subscribe button, and I'll talk to you real soon. Peace.